In this video, I'm going to tell you about the shape of wine bottles and what it can tell you about the wine in the bottle. I have a certification in wine from the Culinary Institute of America in Napa Valley, and I learned about wine uh, by taking that program and getting certified. I also have read lots of books, like This is the Wine Bible, and Karen McNeil was one of my instructors at the Culinary Institute in Napa Valley, so that's fun. But so let's get into the shape of the wine bottle, and I'll talk a little bit about the label as well, and the, just the packaging in general. So first of all, this shaped wine bottle is the you know the the harder shaped shoulder bottle. This is a bottle that's traditionally found in Bordeaux, the region in France. And the other style bottle you'll see a lot is this sloping shoulder bottle. And this is a style bottle from Burgundy, France. Now in France. They, they make certain wines in certain regions, and they, they've been doing this forever. It's their culture, and um, it's a rule they don't really break. So a white wine from Burgundy is a Chardonnay. So if you see a white wine in this sloping shoulder bottle, it's going to probably be a Chardonnay. If you see a red wine in a sloping shoulder bottle, like this one, it's probably going to be a Pinot Noir, because the red, white, red wines made in Burgundy are Pinot Noirs, typically. Now this rule you know, can be broken, you're not always going to find that to be the case, but in general, that will be a rule to follow. And then um, uh, if you see this, this white wine in this, this hard shoulder bottle, it's probably going to be a Sauvignon Blanc, because Sauvignon Blancs are the, is the primary white wine that's made in Bordeaux, in this Bordeaux bottle. And if it's a red wine in the Bordeaux bottle, it's going to be a Cabernet Sauvignon or a Cabernet Blend grape. And the Cabernet Sauvignons that are found in the Bordeaux region of France, they're, they, there are five different types of wine or varietals of wine that are in there. And that is the Cabernet Sauvignon, also Merlot, there's Malbec, there's Petit Verdot, and Cabernet Franc. So if you see a Malbec, even though this one that's from Argentina, it's typically in that style bottle because that is, you know, where winemaking was made famous probably, right, <laughs> in France. In Bordeaux, a, a red wine is going to be in this style bottle, so you know it's going to be that Cabernet blend type grape, generally speaking. You also, um, you know, will find other types of, of wine, other, um, you know, varietals like Zinfandel. This is a Zin bottle. And it's a little bit different. You can see it's a little bit wider, a little thinner on the bottom. But, you know, so you'll find variations in that. And uh, let's talk a little bit about the, the parts of a bottle. So this is the neck. This is the body. And this little divot down here, that's called the punt. And people think the punt is for pouring or something, but no, it's not. The punt is for stabilization. It really helps this, this glass bottle um, take a beating and uh, you know you hardly ever see them break unless they fall or thrown or something <laughs> you're not going to have a problem with your wine bottles breaking very often and that's partially because of the stability that the punt uh, provides at the bottom of the bottle and uh, you also notice on a lot of bottles these days you've got the screw cap which is really useful so you don't have to use a corkscrew and uh, you know don't don't worry about that it's actually very convenient especially if you're not going to store wine so most white wines you're just buying to drink, you're not going to store. But say you have a nice white, like this is actually a nice white. This is a Chardonnay from one of my favorite wineries, Farniente in Napa Valley. And this one, um, you know, is a cork, and, and it, I might want to store this. So you want a cork because the cork helps with that process of allowing just a little bit of oxygen to get in there and help the wine age properly. But it's not necessary. For the most part, um, wines that are meant to be aged like this Cabernet Sauvignon from Rutherford in Napa Valley, it's going to have a cork, generally speaking. And let's talk about some of the other things that you'll find on wine labels. So in, in this particular one, this Cabernet Sauvignon says Rutherford, so that's from a very specific area of Napa. So it's telling you this is, this is a particularly good bottle of wine because they're sourcing it from a small little area of not only the state and the, the, the the county, but the specific part of it. And the same with this uh, Farniente Chardonnay, it says Napa Valley, so it's from that specific part of California. But this is a lower price bottle of wine. This is a Mark West Pinot Noir, which I really like. It's very drinkable, but it's, it's very expensive too. It's less than $10, and it's sourced, it says Appalachian, California, meaning, you know, these grapes probably came from all over the state, wherever, you know, they, they could get them at a good price or good quality, but not necessarily what the winemaker chose specifically from a specific area. And if he had done that, he would have marked it on the bottle. Like this particular um, Chardonnay from, it's also from California, but 
they, they put on here that it's not only from Sonoma County, but it's from the Russian River Valley of Sonoma County. So they're saying, you know, we took some extra care to source these grapes from a very particular part. So this is going to be a better bottle of wine, and it's going to be reflected most likely in the price. So those are some interesting tips to, to know about wine to help you differentiate when you're just looking at the bottle. So I hope this helped you. And um, if you're just starting out in wine, somebody once told me, that, learn what type of wine you like, what, style, what grape you like. Um, if you like Chardonnay, do you like Sauvignon Blanc? Try them. Do you like Pinot Noir? Do you like Cabernets? Do you like Zinfandels? Whatever it is, decide what type of grape you like and then where in the world you like it from. Do you like California wines? Do you like French wines? Do you like Argentine, Argentinian wines? <laughs> whatever, whatever type of wine you like, where you like it from. And then that will really help you navigate a wine menu. And, and that's actually why they list where they're from because different grapes are are presented differently in wines throughout the world and winemaking and cultures affect that. So I hope this uh, video has been enlightening to some extent and you've enjoyed it. I know I have. All right, thanks a lot. Bye.